On this edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements, a run for office, the moment you've all been waiting for, and a return to talking about DECA. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and uncool seniors. I'm Carl. Carl! I'm the man with the plan, Dallas. Listen, man, I'm not that Carl, but for lunch, lines one and two, buffalo and Asian bites. Line three, gonna be closed. Line four, soup and salad bar featuring chicken and rice soup. Line five, Big Daddy Pizza. And happy birthday goes out to Yoliette Valdez, now to sports with my boy Nick. Thanks Dallas. The varsity baseball team def defeated North Montgomery last night by a score of 7 to 4. Casey Henry earned his third win of the season and Jose Valdez Sandoval picked up his third save in relief. Deacon Spencer, Roger Angeles, and Jack Wilkins had two hits apiece. The boys track team competed in the Noblesville Invite yesterday with three people scoring. Hugo Hernandez placed fourth in the 3200, Kyle Earl placed sixth in the discus, and the group of Jordan, Molinax, Michael, and Garcia placed fourth in the 4x100. The hot dog golf team fell to the Tipton Blue Devils, Sasha Perch led the dogs with a 37, followed by Nolan Varner with a 49, Drew Grissner with a 54, and Sam Wilson with a 55. In the JV golf action, the Tipton Blue Devils came out victorious yet again, winning by a score of 200 to 218. Reese Mitchell shot a 52, Dakota Bailey 53, Camden Caesar 55, Trevor Meeks 58, Carter Wilson 69, and finally Jesse Reed with a 71. Rying out the results from yesterday, the varsity softball team defeated North Montgomery by a score of 18 to 0. Morgan Dean led the offense, driving in four runs and going three for four at the plate, with a single and a double. The team tallied a total of 16 hits on the night and 14 stolen bases. Avery Drew picked up the win for the Dogs surrendering zero runs on one hit over two innings of work. Their next game will be tonight against Lafayette Jeff, followed by North Montgomery at home on Thursday. That's all for me. Now back on over to Dallas. Applications for next year's student council and sign-up sheets for class officer positions are available outside Mrs. Isgrid's room and with Mrs. McGuire in student services. Applications are due by May 3rd. Anyone interested in running for, for a class officer position must also, must also have a completed application submitted for his or her name to appear on the ballot. See Mrs. Ms. Grigg or Mrs. McGuire with any questions. Students interested in leading Frankfurt DECA into 2020 should stop by the, the, chapter, the chapter room to pick up a 19, 2019 to 2020 DECA Officer Application. Completed applications must be submitted no later than 3 p.m. on Friday, May 3rd. Good luck to the nine Frankfurt DECA members who are traveling to Orlando, Florida, to compete and, and attend leadership academies at, at the DECA International Conference. It's El Garza, Jacqueline Pozos, Alicia Angeles, Jamie Valdez, Isaac Hunter, Ivan Santos, Sam Wilson, Ruth, Va Ruth Vasquez, and Jenna Rockhold. Good luck. Well, today is the day. Opening night for Leap of Faith is tonight. With a little bit more goading to get you to go to the auditorium later, here's Mr. Taylor. I always enjoy watching the audience and seeing how they respond to a show. This show is really put in the audience's lap, so I'm really interested to see how they take that. Um, you know, we make the audience a part of the show. When it comes to opening night, it's really exciting to see that first audience uh, to, to feel the tension backstage of the nervousness of all of the actors and uh, at the end of the show seeing the smiles on everybody's faces when it's all said and done. But the most difficult thing is just getting everybody there to create the best show possible. It's days and hours of rehearsals and practices that that's what makes it all work. Um, and it, practice makes permanent and that's what we strive for is this permanent perfect production. Um, when everybody's not there, that's hard. You can come and see the show. Uh, it's April 24th, 26th, and 27th. Uh, that's right here in the Frankfurt Theater. 
Uh, show time is at seven o'clock. Uh, student tickets are five dollars and adults are eight. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. As he said, opening night is tonight and the musical starts at seven. Seven means seven, so be there a little early. Doors open at 6.30. Best of all, you get to see this beast in all of its glory. And today is Administrative, in, Administrative Assistance Day, a day dedicated to those that work in the admin offices. A big thank to Mrs. Rennick, Mrs. Aguirre, Mrs. Debris, Mrs. Lisa McGuire, Mrs. Jameson, Mrs. Palmer, Mrs. Dana McGuire, for all their hard work that they do for the school. The FCA will be meeting Wednesday, April 24th during community in the collaboration space. Be there or be square. That's it for your daily announcements. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more, for more news, weather, and updates. And I leave you with this quote, Hulk smash! Well, with that, okay boys, come on in. So, uh, when's the show, Zach? April 24th, 26th, 27th. Step into the light with Jonas Nightingale. The show is going to be amazing. Come join our glorious revival and show. All right. It will be the crew and Jonas Nightingale. Jonas, you got anything to say? Well, first and foremost, good morning, FHS. Leap of Faith is a show about change. Leap of Faith is a show about me, Jonas Nightingale. It's an ins outstanding show about finding out who you truly are and what you are passionate about in life. After watching the show, you will leave the theater with a new perspective and outlook on life. Leap of Faith will leave you with an unforgettable experience. So what are you doing on the nights of April 24th, 26th, and 27th? Because I know I want you to take that leap and come on out. Now I know a certain sinner named Mr. Taylor said that I'll be in your lap, but let's be real. I'll probably just put my arm around you. See you guys tonight at the Revival. <laughs> Have a great day. Sign if you're down for the game.